There were times he thought of her as an errant piece of himself, like a limb or a digit, that one day had begun to speak. There were times she became possessed by a fury so alien he could not look directly at her. There were times he wanted to subsume her back into his body, to spare her from the sometimes awful place in which she had elected to be born. And then, one day, there was the hamster. Bet you uh, a lot of kids in here with the puppies in the window, huh? Everybody likes puppies. He knew there would be sadness in her life, and he could not help but try to bring her joy. But in the brief moments they spent alone together, he saw something strange in the black wells of the hamster's eyes. He could not say why, but he felt that the hamster had been called to a terrible purpose. It seemed determined to carry out some great and symbolic act, though its exact nature or meaning remained a mystery to him. What's 
going on? Oh shit. What's wrong with him? In the night, the hamster had been visited by some mysterious affliction. What's happening? And then, the hamster drifted into nothingness, satisfied that despite a craven instinct to survive, it had simply chosen not to. Sorry, honey. Money's dead. But what does that mean? It means that he's not alive anymore. Once you're dead, that's it. What makes you be alive? I don't know. I don't think anybody does, really. It's just you're alive, and then one day you're not. That's what death is. Do you know when you're dead? No. You don't know anything anymore. You're just gone. It's... Your body stays for a little while, but the thing that makes you you it goes away. Well. I don't know. Is this bad? Yes, but... Well, it's, it's sad when something dies, especially if it's someone you care about, but... Everything that's alive has to die someday. You know, it's a it's a natural thing. Does death give life meaning? Life has no meaning, honey. Why not? Well, because life is just absurd. It's a it's a series of non sequiturs. Do you know what that means? Well, life is it's it's long stretches of boredom punctuated by brief moments of intense beauty or terrible tragedy, with the only certainty being that we will be subjected to some final indignity before making our exit. Even you, the idea of you, the idea that, that you are somehow divided from all the other organic matter slouching across the earth. That's an arbitrary distinction. You can't exist without a horde of microorganisms that outnumber your own cells 10 to 1, not to mention planetary systems of crust and atmosphere that conspire each day to produce gases that fuel your brain organ as it creates the delusion of a self. And what we call the universe is just a chaotic mess of trillions and trillions and trillions of simultaneous events swirling around in an endless void onto which we have projected the illusion, illusion. illusions of, of causality and time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. I got an idea. Everybody likes puppies. Even as she laughed in the sunlight, the morning's tragedy forgotten, his mind began to wander. What now?
What fresh horror would the puppy lay bare before their eyes? Woo! <laughs> <laughs>